Whoa, whoa. Excuse me, pardon me. Whoa, oh, what? That guy just like spawned in and I just bumped into him? Apparently. Couple levels up. Oh, where'd you go? Come pick me up. Oh yeah, he didn't pick us up and or drop us off. Rather. But on that like little green patch of field, whatever. That worked. Nope, should have definitely hit the button there. The sign of victory. High five. Okay. Yay! Damn it! There are so many. This is fun. These little enclosed areas really suck. Luckily, some of these late-game skills are pretty handy. Hey, there we go. Alright, so where is Nordopolica again? <laughs> Let's see here. We are all the way up there. Nordopolica is all the way on the other side. <laughs> Alright, so let's make a beeline that way. Luckily, Balu is fast as hell. They can get us where we need to go pretty quickly. That doesn't look good. Oh. Thanks, monster just deciding to spawn right here. Okay, yeah. never mind. You were very easy. What the hell is that giant jellyfish? Look, it's hanging on to the city. That black thing. That's what we saw on the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. Come on. Boss battle. Oh, there's two of them. Great. Ow! Also, physical attacks are not doing jack. Hey, you want to let me uh, hit my over limit? Thanks. Maybe this will work. That did nothing. Fuck you. Alright, let's... Ch Nightbreaker and Daybreaker. They have two different names. Let's check out and see how these guys are. So he's got about nine, 99,000. We're taking about 30,000 off. And then let me check out the other one. Nightbreaker. So he's about the same. But we've done less to him, obviously. But he's... The other one... Definitely taking more damage from... These types of strikes. And he actually takes damage from physical strikes, so... Ah, how? Nice. Oh, 
I don't think I'm actually hitting him when I do that. Maybe I did there? Okay, I got that one. Okay, so he's got about 60,000 left, and he's still blocking the shit out of everything else. So basically our... Reed's gonna do a lot of damage to him, and probably Estelle too. Oh. Oh, did not get to the healing circle in time. Ow, that... That wasn't fun. Where are you at now? 15? Okay. Nice! Or did I heal him? I think that healed him. That did some damage, though. Nope. Well, I wasn't even close to him, so that probably wouldn't have worked anyways. Oh, hey, there we go. I hope the town is all right. Let's go check it out. That's the lot stronger. All right. Looks good in my book. Oh, there's more. Great. Poof. He's gone. Guess that makes sense. Though really, we should rest. <laughs> Ew! I can't believe the Autofagos could spawn such a disgusting monster. The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autofagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh man, are hordes of these things just gonna attack everything? Ow, ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not gonna run away or anything, I swear. Pete's just freaking the fuck out. Also, where the hell are we? <laughs> That's a warehouse. Is this inside like the the one place? I don't remember what it's called, but I remember being in it. Yeah, this place, like the Coliseum area. We need to go rest up though. And check out and see if they got some items we can use. Probably replenish on some items. What's up? Okay, never mind. There we go. You're who I want to talk to. Okay, let's, uh... Stock up on all these. Miracle Joe. That sounds pretty great, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Bone Slasher. I think it's kind of like basically all the same stuff that they had in the last place we were, so. Nothing too new. Oh, we can actually, we should probably get these. Six, seven. Because they're better than what we had. Derp, derp. And we can sell some stuff. Like that. And that. And all these. 
and the Moonstone. Can we synthesize anything? Not really. We'll just look at accessories for now. Nope. What about cool stuff? Nope. Let's go rest up and save. 500 per night? What an outrage! Alright. Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. All Australia was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air? But we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apathea lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no, this is your genius plan. Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained, gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. <sighs> There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. That thing will destroy the world. I think we should do it, even if no one other than us understands. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Once we do that, then we can think about what to do next. Yeah. Baul knows where the other Entelikea are, right? Yeah. Let's get back to the ship and ask him. Dang it, I thought that was going to be a way to get out of having to do, like, the three giant fetch quests. Oh well. Well, let's get back to the ship at least. If I can remember how to get there. There's a cat in the way! Let us depart. the world but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it we won't just take the apatheia by force Baul, please tell us where the entelakea are oh yes area lumen is in the north 
southeast part of Torpicia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Bold. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea? The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land, but every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Terkalumaris. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wakea is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Bob.